Hello guys and welcome. Uh, today we are going to talk about actions and action lists. Uh, so what are those and uh, why to use them? First of all, we are going to create a new VCO Forms application and let's say that our uh, task is to create a, uh, some a text editor, for example. So what we are going to do is to create a toolbar and uh, rich edit control. I'm going to align it to the client and now I'm going to uh, add action lists and image list. So action list uh, is nothing but a container for all our future actions and uh, image list will contain uh, uh, icons for some of those actions. So I'll uh, connect these two and I want to show those icons also here in my toolbar and I'll say show captions in toolbar. So what I want to do is to add here buttons that say select all, uh, copy, delete, uh, paste and such. Uh, the problem is I can use copy only if something is selected here or I can use delete if something is selected here. Uh, so I would need to uh, write my own code for that and that would uh, take me some time, right? Uh, therefore, you can, as, uh, you can use uh, action, actions that will automatically uh, enable you to uh, use those edit features uh, for selected uh, component. For example, I will say new button and new button has some standard action uh, that is performed on some edit component and it will be select all. Now I'm going to uh, add a, another button. Select all doesn't have any uh, icon. Edit and now I'll say uh, for example delete. Okay and it automatically adds uh, icon for delete and uh, that icon is stored here. Then I'll add a separator and I'm going to add three more buttons and this one will say new standard action co copy. Okay. This one will be uh, cut and this one will be paste. Okay. So let's see how it works in action. So notice that I have uh, uh, this rich edit one in focus. That means all of these actions are uh, meant for this object here. Okay. If I had two edit boxes or two rich edit boxes, uh, then uh, once I select the first one, then I have these actions uh, for the first one. If I uh, get a focus on a second rich edit, then automatically these actions are valid for the second rich edit and not the first one. Okay, so uh, let's say uh, in this case we have uh, only one rich edit and uh, notice that I cannot use delete, copy or cut uh, actions because I haven't selected anything, right? Therefore, I can only use selector or paste. If I do a click select all, it automatically selects my entire text in my rich edit component, right? And because something is selected, I can automatically use the lead copy cut uh, functions, okay? So if I can say copy and uh, I'll click here and I use paste and it automatically pasted the selected text. Okay, so I can also select this part of text and say uh, delete and it is deleted, right? I can also uh, add a new button that will edit undo. So if I, for example, copy this, paste it and write something, I can say undo and it automatically fires. So notice that we have uh, uh, full edit uh, capabilities and we haven't uh, wrote a single line of code. And that is uh, why uh, action lists are really useful. 
You simply add them to your uh, application and they automatically uh, uh, change, enable and disable states regarding of the state uh, of the component. I can uh, add some new actions, for example, new button that will say uh, we used this edit uh, actions, but I can use format. I'll say bold. This will be format italic underline. Okay, and I'll add more. Okay, so where did it go? Ah, it's here. I'll use, for example, a line uh, left, center, and uh, and right. So, let's see how does this work. I can use select, copy, uh, paste, and that works. We already saw that uh, in the first place. But I can also select this part of text and uh, say bold, and it automatically makes it into bold or italic or underline. Or I can simply say align to center or right. And as you can see, we already added a bunch of features for our text editor without writing a single line of code. And uh, like I said, uh, actions are really useful uh, when you when you see how uh, how many how much time do you save uh, when using it. So uh, those are actions uh, regarding uh, some edit components. But we can also uh, I'll delete this. We can also we can also use actions on some other components. For example, I will uh, show you how to use them on a list box. So I'll say here items. I'll add something just for the demonstration, and I will say here new button new standard action and now I'm going to use this list option and for example I'll say uh, delete selection and uh, as you can see it is disabled because nothing is selected but if I select something for example this E and say delete it automatically deletes the uh, selection well uh, also, there are some other type of actions. For example, I can use um, uh, this button and uh, I can say action, new standard action, uh, for example, internet, send mail. And uh, when I click this button, I'll need the name of my action list and uh, it is send mail one. send mail one subject equals is subject unicode string is to someone uh, subject and uh, I can say attachments add and add some file here for example, but I'll skip it for this demonstration and uh, I'm going to say simply send mail execute. Let's see how this works. I'll click this and as you can see, uh, I automatically uh, it uh, launched my uh, 
uh, Outlook and uh, define the subject. I can also define all these other fields as well or the body itself. Okay, and uh, that is uh, my short demonstration about action lists and how they can be used to help you uh, automatically design your user interface uh, in such situations. Thank you for watching and see you next time.